How's it going, everyone? And welcome back to another episode of our adventure in the visual novel, Adventure of a Lifetime. Last episode, the trio of explorers, adventurers, if you will, finally went on to diving to find the treasure from the sunken treasure ship, to which we got a full lesson on putting on scuba gear and the buddy system. I learned a lot on that one. And in the last episode, at the very end, Chisa had found something but signaled for Hiroki and Emily not to follow her. Well, being that she is as experienced as she is in the water, I'd say more than likely if she's making a call of that, it must be something very serious and it's best to listen. Or at least that's the vibe that I get from it. So with that, we're going to continue from that last point to which our mystery voice. Will you load up that last scene for us? And with that, let's find out what's going on. Chisa had gone over alone, but told us not to come closer via hand signal. Is that right? A current? もともとあの辺りは好きで台湾が多くて海流が複雑になってるみたい。うん、I and they can change direction with death. うん。公衆で習ったわ。それはそれで気をつけないといけないんだけど、それとは別に海底には流れの強い場所があるの。岩場や珊瑚礁によって海流の通り道が狭まる場所で激しい流れが生まれる。それがリップカレント。そいつに
which is why writing about one's perceived invincibility wasn't such a good idea. Chisa glanced at my log. Emily saw my sketch of the ghost ship and sulked. Who's stopping you? Either she didn't want to be second, or she didn't think she had any artistic skills. With a pained look on her face, she went right back to writing. Afterwards, Chisa compared our logbooks. We also have to come up with a more detailed dive plan. The lost engagement ring that Emily was looking for was in that ghost ship. We had to get inside somehow, but entering a sunken ship required quite a bit of skill. These wrecking lessons... These wrecking lessons were offered, but only in advanced scuba classes. Meaning we need to take classes too. Neutral buoyancy refers to the technique of floating in place in the water and is more difficult than it sounds. You have to control your body's buoyancy to keep from sinking or floating up. The technique would be a necessity for wrecking. Even though Emily was working at the cafe, all her money went to renting diving equipment. And even the discon and even the discounted prices at Chisa's shop didn't do much to offset the cost of daily rentals. Well, lucky for us, I got my hands on this. I remembered that Grandpa used to take pictures underwater. It had turned up when I searched the shed. He probably restored it. Well, I made sure the shutter still works. The main problem is that it's not digital. That means it's a film camera. Emily stared at the camera. I'm not too sure, but apparently this one was really big. Guess it has something to do with it being an underwater camera. Since it was designed to be waterproof under high pressure, it probably had to be pretty big. I put a small yellow box on the table. Here's the film I found with the camera. It's, uh, past the use-by date, but I think it's still okay. Chisa had noticed another camera accessory. I'm not really sure, but I think you can still take pictures without it. These days, you can look up anything online. I'd already studied info on how to use the camera, what to watch out for when using film, and so on. We can use this to take pictures of the exterior. Only one way to find out. Not a clue. We should probably try it out first. I'd love to say yes, but finances are saying it's a no. Ryota, welcome! What's up? 
It was still a bit too early for him to be eating dinner. Ryota pulled over a flyer from the bundle in his hand. When I saw what was on it, I couldn't help blurting out. Oh, it's happening again this year? Pyrotechnics are awesome. The flyer had a picture of fireworks on it. The Ogasawara Bond Festival was famous, but on that same day, they also held a big fireworks show. And on to this detail. Bond Festival. This festival's dance aims to help remember the dead. Men and women of all ages gather on temple grounds to dance on the evening of August 16th. They say those souls who have escaped the torments of hell are so happy that they dance. At the Ogasawara Bond Festival, all the residents are already so close it can be a very lively event. And there are even encores from time to time. Interesting. That was the summer festival. You can watch from Omora Beach. <laughs> he flipped the flyer around to reveal what was on the back. I bet you it's a dolphin and human show. It is! <laughs> Jesus' picture was featured on one side. Hmm. So, is this your modeling debut, Chisa? Not easy being a celebrity, is it, Chisa? Sounds like Mama's proud. Embrace it, Chisa. You're a celebrity now. Embrace it. She used her body to hide the flyer on the table. It was weird to see her so upset. She must have been really embarrassed. Sure, no objections here. よし、決まりだ。お、でもチサみたいにモデルするのは良いよ。エミリーちゃんならいいモデルになると思うが、もうチラシは作っちまったからな。それじゃ、早速このチラシを配りに行くぞ。<笑><笑> Hey, hold up, Emily. Where are you going? It's time to open. Chisa sounded envious. She's naive, in a good way. And other people just like seeing her happy. Still, it seems like you're having fun. Chisa pursed her lips in discontent and looked at the freshly printed flyers. As I watched her, I contemplated on whether I should ask. It seems like what Chisa just said might be part of the reason she didn't want to do scuba diving anymore. Uh, why not? Hey, Chisa. Huh? Next time, why not come diving with us? Huh? No, I mean scuba diving. We can be buddies, just like old times. Chisa looked hesitant. She ain't got no money right now to rent the gear, no way! <laughs> True. But I want to go diving with you again. 
she was dodging me, and there wasn't much else I could do. Due to current circumstances, I needed to dive with Emily. And that was fun and all, but I had come to Ogasawara to go back to that special place with Chisa. But when I tried to bring it up, she ignored me completely. Maybe she was embarrassed, or maybe I was missing something. Nani? It's nothing. Chisa shook her head and muttered, Weirdo, under her breath. Sateto! Chisa stood up and put on her apron. The cafe would be opening in 15 minutes. Sure, go ahead. Good question. So modest. Chisa muttered as she hung the flyer up on the shop bulletin board. Even though Chisa complained, she never refused a favor. That's why people relied on her so much. Anyway, I can't wait for the summer festival. We stood there looking over the flyer as we talked about the old days and it made us even more excited for the future. I woke up early for a light walk on the beach. Looks like it's going to be another hot one. The clear weather was great, but this kind of heat really made you miss the rain. Hmm? Chinami was on the beach too, but seemed distracted by something. Morning, Chinami. Never thought I'd see you outside. Oh my my my. And what's that? I looked to see what she was staring at. Oh boy. Wait. That guy? The old man who had come by our cafe for breakfast the other day was standing at the water's edge of the deserted beach. Good morning! Oh, Kimiwa. Oh, hi. Out for a walk? Eh, ma. The man looked out at the water. I see. He should just do whatever makes him happy. But I guess that's easy for a teen like me to say. Adults probably thought differently. Not really. I just help out because I'm staying there for free. Machiko's Cafe is my grandma's cafe. She's going to close up this summer, so I came to help for summer break. Yeah. Oh, Chisa is a loco. She's the energetic one with a tan. And then there's Emily. She came from the main island, like me, to have fun on summer break. She's the pretty blonde one. Of course, I couldn't tell him that she ran away from home. Not entirely. How about coming by for breakfast? Well, we opened for dinner, so please do come again. We're a sample. We're a simple cafe, but we serve good food. Ah, so sasete morao yo. The man waved and plodded off. Ayashi, hizouni ayashi. Shinami, are you seriously planning to stalk him? 
Yes. Stop it. You'll just make him angry. Shina wa shima no seikatsu ni taikotsu shite iru no desu. Kouyu shigeki o matamete iru no desu. You might want to try something else, Chinami. Stalking is not a good idea. There are other ways to have fun. Thank you. Thank you, Hiroki. Thank you. Chinami could really be a handful sometimes. Okay, that was actually kind of cute. <laughs> we really shouldn't laugh. <laughs> that afternoon, Emily and I sat on the bench at Ogamiyama Park watching a video on our smartphones. Chisa came over to join us. Well, let's find out exactly what they were watching on the next episode. Oh, the cliffhangers, the cliffhangers, they never end, can they? They never end, they never end, they never end. Well, with that, I wanna thank everyone for watching this episode this time around. If you like what you saw, maybe consider leaving a like. And if you'd like to see more and you haven't already, maybe consider subscribing. And until next time, happy mixing, everyone. <laughs>